representing Brooklyn, New York, Teofimo, El Brooklyn Lopez. Representing Puerto Barrios, Guatemala, Ronald Salvaje Riva. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, Rivas is taller, weight's about the same. He's 11 years older than uh, Lopez, and he has an inch and a half longer reach. All right, we're set to go here. This is scheduled for six rounds. Yefimo Lopez is the top-ranked fighter with 150 amateur victories, and he's full of energy. He's from here in Brooklyn, even though he lives in Davie, Florida now. So he has a lot of supporters out here, and he's just bursting with energy. Rivas, a five and five fighter with a couple of draws and three knockouts, so he can bang a little bit. Rivas has got that tattoo on his shoulder, unloads the right hand. See, Lopez uh, gets him off balance, digs his body downstairs, but it's in a clean area. Hard punching is Lopez. Won several amateur titles over the years, and here's Rivas trying to put the pressure on him. Rivas is one of those tough kids from Louisiana by, by Guatemala. This is round one. It's scheduled for six. Lopez has a ton of power, too. And his four victories, he's got four knockouts. So Rivas has got to be careful that right hand uh, power shot. Even though Rivas has more professional fights, he's in his 13th professional fight. Yefimo Lopez with a huge background in the amateurs is a much more experienced fighter and it shows. He also has more power. Lopez gobbles up everything he has coming forward, just shakes his head no. Carrying that left hand a little bit low, he's open to the right hand, but he's very quick with his left hand, so he gets it back up before Rivas can move in and take advantage of it. Stiff jab and comes that time he, he turns it over with the thumb to the outside and nails him in an uppercut inside. Boy, he steps up into his jab. This is a very good technical fighter, is Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez the third. Chopping right hand and catches Rivas. Rivas might have been hurt by that right hand. He's a little bit uh, loose in the knees and heavy in the heels right now. Oh, that body shot again by uh, Lopez. Lopez taps him a couple of times with the right hand and then comes with the left uppercut. This guy's slick. Satya Fimo win his last fight in Las Vegas. And he's a terrific fighter. Actually, I saw him the last time in Las Vegas, but he won his last fight in Kissimmee, Florida. Look at this. Boy, he's a solid, hard punch. Nice uppercut. Well, he's punishing this guy in the first round, and the bell ends. That's a real solid round for Lopez. Lopez has got that solid jab. He cracks him with the right hand right away to get this uh, round started. Rivas may not have it, had enough time to recuperate from the pounding he took in the first round. And Lopez is keeping the pace up here in the early going. Pulls him in on the ropes, looks around. Lopez looks like a guy that really enjoys himself in the ring, and I suppose if you're pacing a guy like he is in the first round, it's real fun being in the uh, the ring. Last minute of the uh, round, uh, you see Arthur McCann, he said, keep those uh, hands closed up into a fist. And he was telling that to Rivas. Is it, uh, enough isn't going wrong for Rivas right now, the way uh, Kiapimo Lopez is beating him up. Rivas can last a full six rounds with this guy. Every single shot, Lopez sits down on the punch. He's looking to load up the right hand and slings the right hand to the body below the heart. Big welt by the right eye of uh, Rivas. Lopez looks like a guy that's really enjoying himself, and Rivas now has a look of despair on his face. He's taking a lot of heavy punches. Almost everything that Lopez throws other than the jab is a hard, hard punch. 
And even if he misses it, it's hard. Almost everything that Lopez throws other than the jab is a hard, hard punch. And even if he misses it, it's hard. A lot of credit to Rivas to be taking a pounding like this through uh, five minutes of boxing and, and just nothing really going his way. He reaches out. Again, Rivas is taller. They capitalize on it because Lopez smothers him on the inside. Oh, big left hand. I don't think he'll get up from that. That was a huge left hand. This fight's all over. Lopez has knocked him out in the second round with a huge left hook. All right, we'll take a look at the knockout. Watch the left hand. Watch it. Watch it. Right there. He didn't see it at all. And the one that you don't see is the one that'll hurt you. And other McCandy took a look in his eyes and immediately waved it off. Watch dip and boom right there. Everything. He's out cold. Tries to kind of bring his head up off the canvas. Watch, 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 watch. And boom, he blindsided him. He had his entire side luck. Your winner, by way of J.O. L. Brooklyn, Teofimo Lopez.